Ya voy a empezar, ¿no? yo creo. A record for the date, hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So, 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Se ve bonito el juego. Los colores. Mi estilo cómic. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not even really worth dwelling on at this point. You're telling me to get it together. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Furry prick of shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Stop, okay? You're drunk. Let go. Hey, 
Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? God damn you! No way. Whoa, whoa, now. whoa, hey, Don't hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> you fucker! Alright, what you do? <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> No. Pero si le hice para abajo. Ahí sí. Had enough? At least it's a fucking challenge. Ya voy cachando como es la cosa. Ah, chucha. Pero si le hice... Si le hice para acá, weón. Jaja, <risa> concha. Y me mató, weón. Si le hice para el lado, weón. ¿Por qué no me pesca de repente? You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting sick, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucking... Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard! And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Seriously, I need to know if you're okay. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! Ah, shit. <clears throat> hey, 
towed. My car. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Buena manito. Buena manito. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> Guy's having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. What's this? I have the trilogy of Ezio, so I think I could stream it. These are games. I play them with pleasure. 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 These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. was the OJ. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. 
I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Oh, tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Empezó bien. Tanta acción. Está súper bonito. ¿no? Me, gusta, me gusta la paleta de colores que tiene. Y el estilo. No walking on the grass, no White's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. <clears throat> Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. 
You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Bigby. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it, something's going on. Se 
Perfecto. Comida china. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Bluebeard's file. At least this still works. Should help. <sighs> oh, not again. Hey, Colin, get up. Hey. Hey! <laughs> oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Exactly. You know I'm right. Is that for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It probably also has something to do with how engaging you are in conversation. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad? Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. 
and everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Boy, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Bigby. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening <laughs> yeah these walls are paper thin we need to be careful we'll talk outside This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean I'm a working oh. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. A 
have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? What is? It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Hey, Snot. You alright? Yes, thanks. But you should hurry, we don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time.
We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big B, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? It's just so awful. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? The woodsman threatened to kill her with me in the room. Maybe he wants me to know that he did it. I suppose it's possible. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Oh, no. Bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. 
asshole scale? <laughs> well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? <laughs> Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, Aya. this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, yes, I'm just calling to let you know that no cacho, ¿qué fábulas era eso? Esto de esa, esa la espada del, del rey Arturo. Ah. No, no, yo no sé mucho de fábulas, la verdad. No, como, conozco muy pocos personajes. Sí, sé. Lo básico nomás. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rules. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm <laughs> about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <gasps> Still looking! <laughs> Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. is this. 
this supposed to mean? Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yep, and his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Need a namas. can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buff it. <laughs> Translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Buff it. Translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alerlairo. I 
means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also <laughs> known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Blah blah able, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, I bueno. know. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Poe. You there? What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! 
shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, aye, aye, aye. Big B, it's me, Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. Enough, all right, just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad! You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Phew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The 
lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Oh, for, it's a fire eye in this all, you ponderous wanker. We're not playing ten little Indians here. It's a simple accident. Oh, my God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean... Things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? I said Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death.
place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. Toad, I know you're lying about the lamp. Well, the lamp fell, is all. I bumped it. Coming, coming in from the, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? The place needs a little brooming, that's all. Your lock's busted. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Christ's sake, the fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Bloody hell, Bigby, what sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running, didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate, really? Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had. I don't know. He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bowels to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. 
Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the princes now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. Can you hear me? Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Pero claramente pasó algo ahí. Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no. him. No! No! Let me go. She... What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Dale, el agua. Dale, ¿por qué no me pesca, güey? Dale, dale, sí. No es tan difícil. Agua, agua. No me pesca, güey, por la chucha. Dale, dale, si estoy apretando ahí, ahí está. Puta, el compañero ya se me murió lo que me borraba a tomar, a buscar agua. to you. Faith. Still have that letter? Yes. It 
It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Would someone want to kill him? Hmm. Strange. Hard edge of this pool, like something was here and got moved. Do you think that was taken? Before all this. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah. The angle works if he shot himself. recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. What are they? Prescription sl Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. That doesn't really help. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Second-hand paperbacks, old encyclopedias, dusty, no 
one's read these in a while. Stay here. No. Me hizo saltar, güey. Yo el sapo culiao. Hey, stop. ¿Dónde vais? Leave me alone. Dale, dale, bro. Casi se te escapó. <risa> Casi. Chucha. No. Sí, wea. Inside here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Ah, <gasps> Tuchev. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Hmm. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just 
feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. Ni yo sé quién podría haber sido ya a estas alturas del partido. I wish there was. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just. Seeing all this today. Her fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Trip truck. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I just be careful, please. The same goes for you. What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. 
But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. A word's getting out. Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. I don't deny it, but I'm good at picking up on this stuff. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Ah, claro, y sale al lado. Se sacó la foto y más encima sale detrás de ella. Veamos. ¿Qué esta wea? ¿Esta wea tiene huevos o o cebollín? O sea, cebolla. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, well, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> stools in this place you got a problem friend I don't like you and now you're sitting right next to me you could ask me to move you're gonna order something or you're just here to bother my customers you know what I mean Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Paper towels and tiene la venda en la cabeza del hachazo. Number one or number two? For your sake, uh. I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats.
just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Griff. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. The big bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walked past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So... You were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Lot of good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No. 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 I. I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead. Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby. Please, you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh. Yeah, where? Good. Get the oil. should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me.
Vamos a ver si el... Lo esquive. <risa> bueno, suele pasar con los juegos de Telltale tel 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 Games, se buguean. Eh, déjame ver qué puedo hacer. Ah, aquí no se va a guardar, veamos. Uh, que no hay, no hay nada que pueda hacer, no hay como cargar dos puntos más, así que. Yo no me al menú. Pues bueno. Porque se bugueó. <risa> la wea. Estaba buena la pelea más bien. No lo quería matar. Eh, continuo. No sé qué le hacer ahí el huevo, pero bueno. <risa> It's not like you were gonna pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck. You wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! 
Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. El otro igual este es sospechoso. Que tiene razón, está, está, está lleno de sangre, pues esa es la wea. Do anything stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Oh, Big fat guy still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. I'm not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend, at the end of the end. Jesus Christ, Big Big. Is that you? Está interesante. Está interesante. Ah, bueno, ya, este, este bueno me gusta. Leíste tu dinero, Faith. Tú y el 84.5% por, 84 de los jugadores le dieron el dinero a Faith. Le dijiste la verdad sobre Bella Bestia. Tú y el 59% de los jugadores mintieron y dijeron que no habían visto Bella. ¿A dónde decidiste ir primero? Tú y el 69.2% de los jugadores fueron a ayudar a Sapo antes que el Príncipe de Lawrence. ¿Qué le sucedió al Príncipe de Lawrence? No impediste la muerte del Príncipe. Chucha la wea. Chucha la wea. O sea, el buen si. Chucha la wea, será buen. Ya, filo. Será buen. Eh. Le tengo el malo del análogo y se va para arriba solo. ¿Quién es tu sospechoso principal? Tuve el 26.8% de los jugadores no le dijeron nada a Blanca. Eso otro, eso, eso otro dos buenos no lo había visto yo, pues bueno, el pelado este y el, el buen este no lo había visto. Sí, bueno. ¿A quién arrestaste? En el momento decisivo, tú y el 31% de los jugadores atraparon al hombre del bosque. O sea, la, la mayoría de buenos se fueron por el otro. <risa> Únete a la discusión. Visita la página de comunidad de Wolf Among Us. Y serán. Oye, la web se da sola para y todavía están esas páginas bien, porque el, el game estuvo hace no mucho un problema, un atado así con, con donde no pagaba sueldo y weá. Y no sé, te, no sé si Telltale tel Games en sí como desarrolladora sigue vivo. 
después de todos los atados que tuvo a todo esto ¿quién está viendo mi stream ahora? yo quisiera saber eso me gustaría saber eso y puta tengo unas ganas de continuar pero no sé si dejarlo para mañana o, o, o seguir hoy con el, el, los, los posts que estén viendo que me digan que lo... ¿Qué piensan ¿Qué pensáis comentario hasta ahora un momento no todavía no y de ahí fue en orden a 2500 pesos piola Puta, no sé si seguí bueno. Quiero seguir ¿Cuánto, cuánto llevaré streamado todo, todo esto? ¿Una hora? No, no, eso no, eso no lleva Dos horas, dos horas dos Empecé a las nueve Sí, yo creo que igual es... Yo creo que igual está bien por hoy, por lo menos Bueno, sí, bueno, es que está bueno el juego bueno. Ya. ya, mañana sigo Voy a tratar de hacerlo todos los días. Mañana sigo. Gracias a los que estuvieron viendo. Thank you very much. Chuche, espera, calma. Ah, créditos. Me lo salte. Ahora sí. Vamos a hacer... Bebe, antes, antes sí, quiero cachar cuántos episodios tiene. 3, 4, 5. Tiene 5 episodios. Interesante. Cada episodio tiene... Eh, 6 partes, creo, creo yo. Episodio 2 se llama Humo y Espejos. Episodio 1 se llama Facebook. Ok. Vamos so, a antes de, antes de irme, si sí, podría ver algo de trofeos. Eh, veré 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 trofeos. Completa el capítulo 5 del episodio 1. Capítulo 4, el episodio 1. Comprendo Puta blanca, weón. Que no habrá sido un maldito culión Libro de fábulas Esto quiero ver, me llama la atención Vamos a ver el libro de Lupo Ferro o, No sé cómo sea, si será su nombre Le llaman Big B Big Big Bad Wolf eh, El célebre lobo feroz lo, Lobo feroz es famoso por atormentar cerdo y niñas con caperuza, con caperuza roja Pero intenta dejar esos días atrás Lupo es ahora el comisario de Barrio Fábula Y conserva su forma humana Casi siempre Sin embargo su pasado turbulento hace que los ciudadanos del Barrio Fábula les, cu les cueste confiar en él Lupo está decidido a demostrar que cambió de verdad Pero hay instintos difíciles de controlar Blanca Nieves Puta la que pena lo que le pasó a Blanca Nieves. Puede que parezca fría, pero eso se debe a su, a su vida de maltrato y abuso en tierras natales. Tras sobrevivir a un intento de asesinato y escapar de su encierro, se casó con el Príncipe Azul. Al, 
poco tiempo Blanca descubrió que el príncipe la engañaba con su hermana distanciada, Rosa Roja, y se divorció después del éxodo. Blanca se concentró en crear un lugar seguro para las fábulas del nuevo mundo. En el nuevo mundo. Trabaja como asistente del, del teniente alcalde del barrio Fábula. Faith. Ostrora conocida como chica de piel de Aston. Viajó en el óxodo de, de las mágicas tierras natales con la ropa que llevaba puesta. Su esposo y nada más. Una vez fue una princesa hermosa, felizmente casada con el príncipe Lawrence en un reino limítrofe. Su vida debería haber tenido un final feliz, pero la ciudad mundana de Nueva York no la trató bien a ella ni a su matrimonio. Faith terminó en bancarrota y prostituyéndose para pagar la renta de un departamento barato en las afueras del barrio Fabular. Tuvo una vida difícil, pero hizo lo que pudo para sobrevivir en un mundo desconocido. La bella la bestia. Señor Sarro, Colin... Este, este que quiero saber yo. Es más conocido como uno de los tres cerditos. ¿Ves? <ríe> en las tierras natales fueron víctimas del lobo feroz, que sopló hasta derribar la casa de paja de Colin. Después del éxodo, Colin y los demás fablos que no podían hacerse pasar por, por humanos tuvieron que ir a vivir a la granja en el interior de Nueva York. Como no soporta una vida tan aburrida, Colin viaja seguido al barrio Fábula para molestar a Lupo. Siempre lo atrapan y lo mandan de vuelta a la granja, pero no deja, no deja que eso lo detenga. Este que yo también quería saber qué era, Buffkin. Es un mono alado que habla y viene de la tierra de Oz. Es un biblio de carro de barrio Fábula. Pasa el tiempo leyendo y robando el alcohol del teniente al alcalde. Es adepto a las travesuras, así que cuando algo sale mal, asume que recibirá el grueso de la culpa. Es servicial cuando quiere, pero la mayor parte del tiempo prefiere estar viviendo. Deberían haberlo despedido hace mucho, <risa> pero el único que atiende al sistema de archivado. Barrio Faula. Es una comunidad ubicada en la calle Bullfinch, en el Uber West Side de Manhattan. Para la gente normal, o mundis, parece un barrio más de Nueva York, pero en realidad es, es hogar de las fábulas de varios mundos. Además, el despacho del bosque contiene una caverna gigantesca, una biblioteca vasta y cientos de objetos mágicos de poder inmenso. Las fábulas que no tienen aspecto humano viven en el interior, en la granja, una, una extensión del barrio Fábula. De, de la granja. Hogar de las fábulas que no pueden pasar por humanos, gigantes, trajos, animales y otros. Está en el interior del estado de Nueva York, lejos de los mundis para evitar que la descubran. Algunos de sus habitantes reniegan del, del encierro a, pasar, a pesar del tamaño y la comodidad. Para ellos es una prisión. Podrían salir de las instalaciones y comprar un encanto. Pero muchos no tienen dinero para algo tan caro. Algunos, como Colin, escapan a, escapan a la ciudad de todos modos. Encantos... Encantos, hechizos que modifican la apariencia del usuario. Son caros, pero las fábulas que no tienen aspecto humano los compran para pasar por humano entre los mundis. Se pueden comprar encantos baratos en las partes más sordidas del barrio de fábula, pero suelen ser poco confiables y fallan sin previo aviso. Los Taras, este también, estos también. Los hermanos Tara, Ari y Ara. Son matones de sueldo, tienen apariencia humana, lo que les permite cumplir con sus contratos a la sociedad mundi sin despertar sospechas. Son, son tan inseparables como despiadados. O sea, no me dan ninguna confianza en Tomone. Este aún quería ser yo que era. Grendel. Grendel solo, solo quiere que lo dejen en paz. En tiempo antiguo aterroza, a, aterrorizaba a los nórdicos. Pero ahora suele frecuentar diferentes bares tranquilos y descuidados de Nueva York. Odia el ruido de la ciudad, pero debe trabajar ahí para pagar, para pagar su encanto. A pesar de su aspecto rudo, es muy leal a quienes saben ofrecer el espacio y el silencio que busca. Hablar con él es como mirar una bomba de tiempo, que explotará en cualquier momento. Se nota. Ok. Mañana sí. Voy a cortar este tema ahora. <risa>